Hey everyone, it's Jordan from Fish Keeping Made Easy and today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm starting a new series looking into some of the diverse and unusual wildlife that lives within the UK. In this video we'll be looking at how the ring-necked parakeets are not only living within the UK, but thriving. I visited St James Park in London last year and saw some of these parrots for the first time. Now initially I assumed they were not wild birds but in fact captive birds that lived in large aviaries somewhere within the grounds of the park, but of course I was very wrong. According to the RSPCB, the birds have been living within the UK for some time and started successfully breeding in the late 60s in Kent. But the main question is, how did these birds get here in the first place? So the rose-ringed parakeet or the ring-necked parakeet is a medium-sized parrot originating from India and Africa, but as we know, these birds have been introduced to other parts of the world, including Western and Northern Europe, including Germany, France and Belgium. It's estimated that there are over 85,000 birds throughout Europe, with the UK having around 31,000 of them. But how do these tropical birds survive in the colder temperatures in the UK? These birds are very adaptive and they do actually live in some cooler areas of India and Africa. Our hedgerows, suburban parks and wooded areas and buildings mimic the sparse and disjointed forest habitat that these birds are used to. But mainly, their success is due to their ability to find and scavenge food. They eat a variety of berries, fruit, nuts, seeds, grains and household scraps. They easily find these in built up urban areas, busy parks and of course within our gardens. Many people have seen these birds on their bird tables and bird feeders throughout the year. Basically they're opportunistic, similar to other native species like crows, gulls and pigeons. They also nest within tree cavities, nest boxes and within roofs of houses which shelter them from the cold and wet climate of the UK. But I guess the main question is, how did they get here? Well, there are some very outlandish suggestions why. Firstly, it was rumoured that in the 1950s that the birds had escaped the film set of the movie The African Queen, which was being filmed in the Islesworth Studios in West London. This was due to a large number of sightings of the birds after the filming. Another weird one was that Jimi Hendrix released a breeding pair into the wild in the 1960s. Although no evidence and a former girlfriend having no recollection of this event, I very much doubt that this was the catalyst for the birds coming to the UK. In fact, the reason is likely a combination of releases and accidental escapes. In the 30s and 50s, exotic birds were all the rage, but it was reported that these birds could spread disease, which eventually resulted in a ban for 20 years by the Ministry of Health. It could then be assumed many bird keepers and pet shop owners let these birds go, out of fear of catching something or worried about getting in trouble for possessing one. There have always been reports of large aviaries being destroyed in storms over the years, which again has contributed to the population. So, are these birds a problem? Well, with any invasive species, a close eye needs to be kept on them and a lot of research done. There is a suggestion that due to the bird's size, it can outcompete smaller species for feeding spots and gardens, and due to their nesting preferences being in tree cavities, they pose a threat to nuthatches and woodpeckers. So basically, there is a fear that these birds could outcompete other native species for resources, but they have been within the UK for the last 50 years or so, so a lot of people don't think they're much cause for concern. So where can you find these birds? Well, personally, I've seen them in St James Park in London and within Whitworth Park in Manchester. But according to this map, you can see you can basically find them anywhere. Cardiff, Nottingham, Liverpool, Preston, Edinburgh, Glasgow, many more, and basically anywhere in London. So as always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoy the idea of this series, let me know. I've got plenty more videos coming. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.